Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about an iPhone with iOS 14 that won't update. I'll be going over how to fix it easily. Let's get right into the video. I don't even need to show you the screen for it, uh, for the phone, because it's actually so simple. I'll be going over four steps, and hopefully one of these steps will fix the problem. I'm gonna start off with the easiest step and work my way to the most complex step. So start off with the easiest one, because hopefully it works. If not, work your way throughout the other steps. The first thing that you want to try is to make sure that there's enough space on the iPhone. Oftentimes we think that our iPhone won't update because there's a problem, but in reality there's just not enough space for the update. And you want to make sure not that there's just enough space for the update, but that there's more than enough space for the update. So to do that, there are a few ways to figure out how much space your iPhone has left, but the easiest way is to just go into your settings app, then go to the general option, click general within the settings app and then click about so settings general about click the settings app click general then click about and if you scroll down it's going to show you how much space you have left on your iPhone make sure that there's more than enough space if you have enough space you can move on to step number two which is to make sure you're using your Wi-Fi on some phones from what I've read and heard it will download the update only when you're connected to Wi-Fi okay it all depends on from what I understand how your phone is set up um, and how your options are set up however um, make sure that your phone is connected to Wi-Fi because it will download faster you don't want your download to take five hours or seven hours you want it to download quickly Wi-Fi is generally faster than wireless so you want to make sure your phone is connected to Wi-Fi for the download hopefully that speeds up the process and helps get your phone updated um, the third thing is you want to try shutting off your phone and turning it back on now it depends on what phone you have there are different ways to do this but the fastest way on this phone which is an iPhone 12 is to press and hold down the power button and the volume down button or the volume up button so you can press and hold down the power button and either of the volume buttons only one of them power and volume up or power and volume down. Press and hold them down for a few seconds and you'll see an option pop up to shut off the phone. Slide your finger to shut the phone down, turn it on again, hopefully that works. Last but not least is the fourth step, which is to do a force restart on the phone. A force restart basically simulates a battery pull with the phone. So you know on your router or your modem, when there's a problem, you unplug it for 30 seconds and you plug it back in again. It's similar to that, but with your iPhone. Um, it depends on your iPhone. You'll do it in different ways. You can look it up, um, how to force restart an iPhone 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, whatever the case is. But for an iPhone 12, the easiest way to force restart it is press and release volume up, press and release volume down, press and hold down the power button until the Apple logo appears. Once again, press and release volume up, Press and release volume down, press and hold down the power button until the Apple logo appears. That's it. Hopefully one of these things will help your iOS 14 iPhone update. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.